Hey everyone, have you ever heard of this association between the big toe and the butt? Meaning, if you do not have optimal first MPJ or big toe function, it can shut off and weaken your glutes. Now, if you've heard of that, do you really understand that connection? My name is Dr. Splickle, functional podiatrist and human movement specialist, and I want to speak to you about that connection. So this is what's happening. It has to do all about gait and walking. So when we walk, we have a certain stride length that we achieve in order to get optimal hip extension. Now, if we cannot extend our hip when we walk, we actually start to shut off the glutes. So again, when we walk 5,000 plus times a day, taking a step, if we cannot extend our hip behind our center of mass, which is important for glute activation, we will start to deactivate and weaken our glutes. We become very anterior pelvic quad dominant. Now, one of the big drivers and connections to the ability of extending our hip when we walk, if you look all the way down at my foot, you can see that it is my big toe. So step length, hip extension, first MPJ dorsiflexion are all connected. So when we walk, we need at least 30 degrees of first MPJ extension or dorsiflexion in order to walk. Now, if we do not have 30 degrees of first MPJ dorsiflexion, we are going to start to compensate. We're not going to be able to take this nice step length of what we need to get that hip extension and keep those glutes activated. So the way that many people start to compensate when they lose first MPJ dorsiflexion is that they start to turn their feet out. They start to walk like a duck and push off of their foot just like you see in my back foot. Now the way that my foot is moving is called a low gear push off. That low gear push off by rolling on the inside of my foot favors bunion formation. It also starts to unlock the foot. Now, another compensation that you may see when someone is taking a step and lacks dorsiflexion in their big toe is they start to shorten their stride. So instead of taking these long, beautiful strides with hip extension, they start to narrow that stride. So they take these shorter strides or steps that do not require as much first MPJ dorsiflexion, which does not require as much hip extension. So those big old glutes can start to fall asleep. Now, outside of turning the foot out and shortening the stride, another compensation that you may see is that people start to become apropulsive. When someone is apropulsive, not only do they shorten their stride, but they shorten their stride so much that they start to either shuffle or they start to march. So they become very anterior or hip flexor dominant in the way that they walk. Now, if you suspect that this is you, that you have either pain or limitation in that first MPJ, and you can feel or notice that you're shortening your step length and that those glutes are getting a little bit sleepy and maybe it's causing some low back pain or SI joint pain or hamstring dominance, what do you start to do? Well, you can start to look at different ways to optimize that first MPJ. Maybe try a dancer's pad. Sometimes in the case, yes, you may want to get an orthotic control that that rear foot, use a reverse Morton's extension, or you could look at a rocker based shoe. Hoka is an example, Dansko is one. You can also get customization of rocker soles put into your shoes, and that can allow you to get into a more ideal hip extension pattern. So again, that connection between the big toe and the butt is based off of what is happening when we walk. It is really based off of our ability to take a long step, get some awesome hip extension that favors glute activation, and really that cycle is how we wanna be optimizing it. So if we get great 
first MPJ, or we think we have great first MPJ dorsiflexion in a controlled environment of someone moving your toe on a table, doesn't necessarily mean that you have great first MPJ dorsiflexion when you're walking. Because again, that connection of the first MPJ is going to be into your hip extension when you are taking a nice long step and how that connects to your glutes. If you wanna learn more about the functional foot or looking for a virtual or in-person consultation, please visit dremilysplickle.com. Take care.